Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel and welcome to September combined with 30 days of sketches. Today's sketch has these four photos in a grid type pattern. And this is a sketch from Laura Creates, I believe is what that said. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and use four photos, but rather than doing squares, I'm doing these small um, rectangles. So this is they're approximately two by three and that paper at the bottom the green with the uh, silverware on it or the utensils whatever you prefer to call it is from damask love and same with the blue paper i believe that is also from damask love and those are uh, papers that i picked up at joann's quite some time ago they're both pretty old and have been in my stash for quite a while uh, the yellow paper is a Maggie Holmes paper, and so what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and create my grid on a piece of white cardstock, and I am uh, just moving the photos around so that they kind of play a little nicer, because one of them, I think, was two of them are cut a little smaller than the other, and that was my fault, just my bad, and so I kind of had to um, swap those two, as you saw because uh, they didn't match up in height. And so by swapping them, they are more like the one next to it. So now I'm just gonna layer a bunch of papers behind my photo. And so I know I wanna have that yellow and I wanna have the blue, and then I also wanna have a pink. And um, the, the main reason is because this collection has a lot of color in it and so I wanted to pull the color in with the layers. I'm going to leave the background with just that gr that green paper. I'm not doing any like um, paper piecing or like a half and half or anything like that. I'm just going to leave it and that's what the sketch has so that's what I'm going with. And I definitely know I want to use this 3x4 card that is in the cut apart sheet off to the right hand side and it is a cut apart that says life is what you bake it. And the photos are of Noah and my daughter, and they are baking uh, oatmeal cake. And if you don't know what that is, it is amazing. And it does have oatmeal in it, um, but it is so good. And the best part is like the topping is caramelized with walnuts and coconut. And I know a lot of people don't like coconut, but it is amazing. And I never liked coconut when I was young, but I've always loved this cake because it's crunchy on the top and soft and moist in the middle. So anyway, <laughs> less about the cake, more about the uh, layout here. So I used that oval die to go ahead and punch out the piece that says life is what you bake it. And it didn't cut all the way through for whatever reason. I don't know that I've ever even used that die before because it is a nested die set and I'm not sure I've ever used that particular size. But for whatever reason, it didn't cu cut out all the way and that's what I was doing there. I was just trimming it out. And I am inking everything up with black distress ink um, just to create a bunch of differentiation between all of the layers. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. But what I decide to do is I, I don't really like the die cut piece hanging off of the edge of the photos like that. So I'm going to create a little bit of a uh, frame for it or a little place for it to, to reside. So I'm actually going to layer another piece of white behind all of those colors and I'm just marking where I want to cut it because I'm going to use that white as um, the, that white background is going to be a larger mat than what all of those other mats are and that'll be a place where my daughter can actually do the journaling. So I thought that worked out really well. Again, I'm inking everything up, and I like the way that that's looking. I'm not sure that I inked all the layers at first, but um, I think I did go back and do it. And then I do need to add a little bit of foam underneath the right-hand side of that die cut because there's so many layers under the photograph that it needs um, a little bump up. And so uh, it, rather than putting it on the back of the die cut, I put it on the paper because I know where the die cut's going to sit. And then I pulled out this piece of, Mag this is not Maggie Holmes, <laughs> Paige Evans paper. And uh, I think that is, I want to say it's from Bloom Street. And I found the area of the paper that is the closest in color to the other die cut. Um, and that's why I kind of cut it right out of the center. It's kind of this pinky peachy color. And so um, I wanted something to match it just as closely as possible. And I'm going to use that down at the bottom. 
and I used a smaller die to cut it. So it's the same shape, but since they're nested dies, I was able to pull in a smaller one. And I really like that little mixer. And so I know I want to use that. And that's one of the reasons I'm definitely pulling in the pinks and the blues because the mixer has the pinks and the blues on it. But the mixer is from the same collection as the die cut that says life is what you bake it. And there are actually those colors kind of around the outside of the die cut. When I used my die, I made sure that I got as much of a, those colors that I could. Um, so I, that's why, you know, I chose the size that I did. And then in the sketch, there is a border up at the top and it's uh, all these different colors going across the top. And so I decided to use the same colors that I am using to mat all of those photos. And I'm just using my T-square ruler to go ahead and go all the way across the page. I didn't make you sit and watch me put all of those down. But what I am showing you here is that as I kept going across, I ended up with just a li little tiny sliver of yellow at the very end. And I wasn't really happy with the way that that looked. So what I end up doing is I pull off this other sticker, which I is going to go back on the layout, but I'm going to mat it a couple of times to make it whiter so that I can not have one of those little border pieces hanging off the edge. So that is taking the piece, the place, the large sticker there with the cupcake is taking the place of the pink because I've backed it in pink and now I'm backing it in white. So it's taking the place of the pink, but I did use pink around it and I'm making it larger so that it covers up this uh, gap that I have between the blue and the yellow. So you saw me there lay down the yellow strip and the blue strip so I can kind of figure out how wide that gap is and then make my framing for that sticker wide enough to cover it. And I am popping that up onto foam just to give it added dimension and a little more oomph in the layout. <laughs> so um, it makes it a little bit more prominent. And then I had this donut th sticker that was from that same collection of stickers as the cupcake. And I just tucked it in below the piece that says life is what you bake it, but I'm going to pull that out eventually and I'm going to mat it as well. Meanwhile, I am just popping up the lower oval onto some foams because I know that's going to hang off. But then I realized I hadn't adhered the entire matting and everything that had the photos on it. So I need to go ahead and do that before I can actually stick that piece down because that really thin foam is super sticky and once it's down it's down. Um, I was lucky I was able to just pop it up right there. Now this little piece that has all of these um, aprons on it I actually like it where it's at right now but uh, I did move it I pull it down below. Um, honestly looking at it on screen I like it better at the top but in real life I liked it down at below so uh, it, it's staying down below. And then I went to my wood veneer and I went to all of, I have a box that is like kitchen and household items and food. And so I went to those and I pulled out a little mixer, um, a wooden spoon, a uh, whisk, and a rolling pin. And those are going to be my little embellishments that go in each of those three areas just to kind of finish those off. And I really like the, the way that they look. And they just add a little bit more texture to the entire layout and kind of finishes it off each of the embellishment areas. So while I work on that, I'll remind you everybody that is playing along is linked down below in my description box. So you can go and check those uh, links out and check out their videos. Some people play weekly, some people play daily, some are just whenever they have a chance. So go and check out uh, the list down below. Definitely Christie's Beautiful Life, uh, Scrappy Sisters and Laura Alberts are playing every single day. Um, I believe MK Gunn is uh, also playing every day, and I think Moira is also playing daily. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure she is. So um, go and check out everybody who's playing along and give them a little bit of love because there's tons of inspiration. We're all doing all kinds of different things with our inspiration pieces. So I uh, hope that you are inspired in some way by someone today. <laughs> so I did add a little white border up at the top because I think I thought that all of those little pieces that were individual, um, those little individual squares needed something to finish them off. And I really like it a lot better 
And then I decided to do a sketchy line around the entire outside of the green. And then I'm going to do a sketchy line on that white border, which I know sounds weird, but uh, I really like the way that it looks when it's done. So I decided to go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to add a sketchy line around the white uh, framing for all of these photo mats. And I like the way that that looks as well. That is pretty much going to do it for my layout. And I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have questions or comments, as always, you can leave those down below. I do get back to you as quickly as I can. And I do appreciate the time that you take in leaving me those notes because um, they do mean a lot to me and I, I do read them. So thank you for that. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to hit the like button down below. And I will be back again tomorrow with another video. I am going to finish out the month strong, I believe. So I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.